doing this really reveals the fact that you know you're not living at your full potential. You start questioning your wife about all these other men in her life. Men she needs to communicate with, men she maybe works with. You start interrogating and investigating the other men that your wife is forced to interact with because you know you're not living at your full potential. So you start to wonder, is my wife getting her emotional and potentially physical needs met by somebody else? And the only reason you would even question that is because you're already aware of, of the fact that romance is dying, the intimacy is dying, the spark is out. And so you start to wonder, right, what are these men bringing to the table? So you get insecure. And those insecurities start to surface. And here you go, micromanaging your wife's life, digging in and prying in to her life, which is really giving off an energy of what? Mistrust. And now when your wife doesn't feel like you trust her, well, now what'd you sign up for? You signed up for an argument because nobody wants to be questioned by the perpetrator who created the scenario. Like I always tell you guys, don't get offended at something that you created. So my question is, what does this other man potentially have? Well, you're wondering, what is he doing with my wife that's making my wife feel maybe the way that she does? Why is she talking about this guy, right? Think about that. Let me ask you, if your wife is talking that way about another man, then you really gotta ask yourself how it got there in the first place how long you want to stay and what you need to do for yourself to fix it. So before there is another man in the picture, before you sit back on the sideline and basically allow whatever's taking place to take place, maybe you should start to do the work on yourself that you're starting to become aware of because in order to master yourself, you got to know yourself. And in order to know yourself, you got to study yourself. So maybe it's time to crack that book that's got your name on the front cover.